Sprogs TV. Hi, I'm Emma, and welcome to the Sprogs Network, where today we're creating fun and educational cute hedgehog videos for kids, children, and toddlers. Today we are joined by Steve from the local zoo, who will help you to learn all about cute hedgehogs. Hi Emma. Yes, I'm Steve and I'm here to help you kids learn all about hedgehogs in this video. We're going to have lots of fun learning today, with lots of exciting facts about hedgehogs. So let's get started. So, first Steve, how did the hedgehog get its name? It is believed that the name hedgehog arose around the year 1450. Prior to this, they were referred to as urchins. The hedgehog got its name because of its weird scavenging habits. They snuffle through hedges and other undergrowth in search of their favorite food, which are small creatures. And their quills are made of something called keratin, right? What is that? Yes, Emma, that is right. Keratin is the protein that makes up our hair, skin, and nails. It is also the main building block of hedgehog quills. The quills, or spikes, of a hedgehog are not barbed or poisonous, and they can't detach like a porcupine. And, it says here that the quills of a hedgehog are actually hollow on the inside, right? Yes, Emma, that's right. The quills of an adult hedgehog, like this little guy here, are pointed and rigid. They are also hollow on the inside, so they are not heavy to carry around. Adult hedgehogs have around 5,000 quills. Each quill lasts for about a year, before it is replaced with another spike. And, they can roll into a little ball, right? Yes. All 18 species of hedgehog can famously roll into a ball for protection. The ball shape means all spiky quills point outwards to scare away any predators and protect vulnerable areas such as the head, arms, feet and belly that don't have quills. So, the next fact. They are nocturnal and sleep for a large parts of the day. As nocturnal animals, hedgehogs are mostly active in the nighttime. They can sleep for up to 18 hours per day. Also, wild hedgehogs can also hibernate during the winter, but this does depend on the species and location. Hibernating means they sleep in a burrow during winter to help preserve their state when food sources are low, or weather is extreme. That's right Emma. They are one of only three mammals that hibernates in the UK. And, did you know that a group of hedgehogs is called an array? Hedgehogs are usually solitary, apart from when mating. However, if multiple hedgehogs happen to be found in a group, it's known as an array. Their stellar ears and noses help them thrive as hunters to make up for their poor eyesight. Hedgehogs rely on their remarkable sense of smell and hearing to locate prey. The long-eared hedgehog has particularly big ears. In a single day, they can eat up to a third of their body weight in food. Hedgehogs have a hearty appetite for insects and other pests, which is why some opt for them as pets. They love to munch on snails, earthworms, and slugs. Cute alert! Baby hedgehogs are called hoglets. After birth, their quills will start to grow and harden. Hoglets tend to remain under the care of their mothers for about three weeks until their spines offer adequate protection. They have an impressive set of teeth like humans, hedgehogs have different types of teeth, including incisors, canines, premolars, and molars. They are fantastic diggers most hedgehogs have five toes on each of their feet. Each toe is equipped with a curved claw that helps them efficiently cut through dirt. They can also walk up to two meters for gauging. While they have little legs, they can travel up to two miles when foraging for food each night. In England, there was a nationwide effort to help hedgehogs. In the past decade, the hedgehog population experienced notable declines in Britain, numbers decreased by about 30%. Residents were encouraged by the British Hedgehog Preservation Society to cut small holes in their fences to help hedgehogs move around. Look at this little lady having a drink of water. Speaking of water, hedgehogs might not look like it, but they are skilled swimmers in water, they will extend their heads above the surface and swim in a doggy paddle-like fashion. Hedgehogs are also immune to a range of poisonous plants. They will chew these plants up and combine them with their saliva to make a frothy secretion that they will then spread over their quills to deter predators. 
Did you know that male hedgehogs can spend hours trying to woo a potential mate? That's right. Male hedgehogs perform coordinated dances around females in heat, who can take hours assessing the suitability of the male. If successful, the male will mate with the female and depart shortly after. Another fun fact. Hedgehogs are lactose intolerant, by that we mean can't have milk. Hedgehogs are totally lactose intolerant, so milk should never be left out for them, but water is perfectly fine. And, Steve. I hear people say that hedgehogs are a gardener's friend, but what does that actually mean? Hedgehogs are a gardener's friend. Yes, hedgehogs have earned this reputation because of their eating habits. Not only do they enjoy berries and fruit but the staple of their diet is made up from pests that are common in our back gardens such as beetles and caterpillars. This helps preserve the fruit and vegetables you may have growing in your gardens. They are solitary creatures though. Hedgehogs venture out on their own after only 4 to 7 weeks of nurturing from their mother. They usually then spend their entire lives alone with the exception of pairing up to mate with another hedgehog. Also, did you know that many people keep hedgehogs as pets? The African pygmy hedgehog is typically the species that people choose to keep in their homes. There are lots of hedgehogs in England and the USA. But naturally, they really are found all over the globe, for example, in parts of Europe, Asia, and Africa. In fact, nowadays you can even find hedgehogs in New Zealand. That's just about it from myself Steve today, as I head back off to the zoo. Thanks again to Emma and the Sprogs team for having me on again today to help you with all our fun facts about hedgehogs for children and toddlers. And that's just about it from myself Emma also. Thanks Steve, and thanks to you also for joining me today, for this hedgehog video for kids. I hope you have enjoyed all our fun facts about hedgehogs for children and learned all about hedgehogs. And don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe below for more amazing educational videos for kids. But for now from me and everyone at the Sprogs team, goodbye and we'll see you in our next video.